So I'm actually quite enjoying not having to squat at the moment. Now, it's not to say I don't think it's a good exercise. It's formed the backbone of my leg routines for many years. Good exercise or not, I have to be honest and say that it's predominantly what has built my leg mass over the last few years of training. However, squatting comes at a massive cost. There are three big downsides here to why squatting may not be the best idea for your leg workouts, and it's not impossible to build big legs without squats by any stretch of the imagination. There are lots of pros of squatting, but here are three cons. Number one is the time cost. You're going to be doing a lot of warm-up sets, probably more than any other exercise to get ready for the squat. You're going to be doing more mobility work, especially if you're taller or tighter, to prepare for the squat. Lots of dynamic work. So the, the time spent from when you enter that gym to when you go for that first working set is going to be longer on the squat than probably any other exercise. Number two, you're often going to be bottlenecking your performance to stimulate your lower body mass, which ultimately as a bodybuilder is why you're going to be squatting, to build bigger legs, by your torso rigidity, your lower back stiffness, your hip stiffness, which is a very frustrating situation to be in. If you've had maybe a couple of days where you're kind of bending over a little bit, doing some manual labor or whatever, or you've been sitting down too much, you go and do your squats and you feel like you know, you're lifting a ton on your back sometimes, you just feel a lot tighter than you would do. So the squat performance can vary massively depending on your torso kind of stiffness and health. Um, and that's really annoying to, to deal with on a consistent basis. And thirdly, it comes at a massive psychological cost. To really amp yourself up for a good heavy set of squats is very, very demanding. In fact, it's psychologically exhausting to do this on a regular basis, probably more so than any other leg movement. You know, no doubt a heavy set of leg uh, press or uh, hack squats can get very very debilitating but I don't think there's anything that quite matches the squat and the psychological damage sometimes of that can incur. So three downsides as I said there are lots of pros of squats but there are three downsides that I'm currently um, enjoying not having to go through on a regular basis as a bodybuilder.